The idea behind Feasting with Panthers was to invite our guests to enter a totally immersive theatrical world which was our Panther Hotel and allow them to explore a reality which was heightened and which wouldn't immediately reveal itself to the guests. The idea that it was some sense of mystery and that once inside they would have to interact with performers and so that everything that they saw, everything that they touched or felt or smelt would be part of this reality was to allow guests to explore the venue and that it wouldn't reveal itself to them straight away. As if you'd wandered up a dark alley in a Shanghai street in the 1930s and happened on this extraordinary nightclub within. Our inspiration for the evening of Feasting with Panthers was to create a sense of old school glamour that was reminiscent of hotels of a bygone era. We had around 70 staff on site in the evening, 20 of which were chefs. Our front of house team, um, the girls were dressed in beautiful antique silver sequin dresses, whilst the boys wore wonderful tailored white tuxedo jackets with black satin lapels. We made sure guests were happily imbibed on the evening by serving margarita martinis uh, laced with a little bit of absinthe and vaporised with some elderflower liqueur. The food on the evening included little crystal champagne coupes that were filled with lobster tail, caviar and gold leaf. We served slider burgers of beef fillet with perigord truffle and also beetroot macaroons with goat's cheese and toasted walnuts. We created a wonderful dessert station to finish of edible terraria which was a mixture of flora, fauna, birds, bees and insects from which guests were served individual edible terrariums that were filled with a decadent chocolate truffle, edible flowers and popping candy. Adam was the one who proposed the Feasting with Panthers theme um, and we knew from the beginning we wanted to get that sense of danger and that isn't that easy with flowers, flowers aren't very dangerous um, we, we had a tasting with Jonathan at Last Supper and he had made these wonderful terrariums and I think that was the, that gave us a really good way forward where we would go for the idea of the, 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 the steampunk feel of Victorian high gothic that feeling that we were slightly not of this world, that we'd gone into another realm we might be in somewhere far east, we might be somewhere completely unknown and we got that as the inspiration so instead of feasting with panthers which implies a Victorian naughtiness we maybe updated it slightly and made it more oriental The idea behind the design was to create an experiential invitation that was multi-sensory we wanted guests to go on a journey of discovery when they received their invitations. This was created by designing with a strong visual impact, the smell of opium and smoking room, and the taste of absinthe and Saint-Germain. <laughs> 